gastroenterologists may work alongside anesthesiologists to provide sedation. Intravenous fluids and anesthetics are supplied via an IV catheter. When indicated, an antibiotic may be given. Most patients are usually in deep sleep and do not report any discomfort. Throughout the procedure, your vital signs will be closely monitored. The procedure may be short or lengthy, depending on the complexity of the case. A mouthpiece will be used to protect both your teeth and the echoendoscope. The echoendoscope is then inserted into the mouth, passed through the esophagus, the stomach, and into the duodenum. The area of interest is then carefully examined. When indicated, samples are obtained using FNA for further analysis. The sound waves emitted from the ultrasound transducer yield detailed images when these sound waves bounce back and are analyzed. Your physician interprets these images to locate abnormal tissue masses or abnormal collections of fluid. In the case of a pancreatic tumor, once identified and localized on the ultrasound image, the FNA needle extends from the scope head. The lesion is pierced and the needle is moved back and forth several times in multiple areas of the lesion to obtain an adequate sample for analysis. On occasion, peripancreatic lymph nodes are also sampled to determine if the tumor has spread. The vessels around the pancreas are also closely studied to rule out any type of tumor involvement within the peripancreatic arteries and veins. This is called staging and grading of the pancreatic tumor, and this helps determine how advanced or localized the disease is. FNA samples are frequently read in the room where the procedure is being performed to ensure an adequate sample and, on occasion, to establish a preliminary diagnosis. These samples are used to diagnose, stage, or even rule out the presence of pancreatic disease or cancer to determine the best course of treatment.